the one and only, the headliner tonight, Thank Bishop man. Norman Hutchins. Make some noise! Come on, give all the hand praise, everybody. Well, I just got one question for you. Anybody love the Lord tonight? I mean, don't play games. Do you really love him? Come on, shout, Jesus, I love you. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, let's go. I like that already. What a song I wrote while I was driving to tell him how much I love him. Says this. things I've learned about the love of God. 
Number one is you can never live bad enough for God to ever Jesus, hate you. Jesus. And number two, you can never live good enough for God to love you any more than yellow. he already does. Yellow, yellow. The Bible says that God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And I believe every saved, sanctified sinner in this room ought to give God a hand praise for unconditional love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I look back over my shoulder, I see all the things that God has brought Jesus. us through. Jesus. Jesus. Many people thought you wouldn't survive. Jesus. A lot of the tragic, tragic things that has happened in your life. Oh, but how many of you know he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Yeah. People may count you down, yes. but somebody shout, but if you didn't know, now you, know. now you know it's gonna be all right. All right. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah! 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 Bless your name, Jesus. I just want to encourage somebody with this song. It says, Have you ever been through a trial? Oh, my God. <laughs> And thought you wouldn't make it. You were smiling on the outside. Jesus. But crying down on the inside. Wondering when will the season end? And when will the joy begin? How much more can I take? And when will the season break? And will it end? Want to know will it end? Then I heard him say this. He said this. He said, Come on. If you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Right. Come on, say. If you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Come on, say that again. Right. Come on, say it again. If you didn't know, if you didn't know. Now you know. Now you know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be alright. I told me to tell you. If you didn't know, trouble don't last long. Now you know. Oh no no no. And then I heard him say this. Come on, he said this. This too. This too. Shall pass. Shall pass. How many of y'all believe that? <laughs> oh, this too. This too. Come on, here we go. Shall pass.
says it's over. Got any soldiers in the house tonight? Anybody on the battlefield fighting for the Lord? Come on, clap their hands and give the Lord praise. Come on, Antoine, where you at? Come on, y'all. Listen. I'm a soldier on the battlefield and I'm fighting say.
from artist to music executive. Right. The president now of IR Music Group. And he's the first artist we signed to the label. And he has a project that is gonna bless the world. And I'm really, really excited about it. Amen, I've been doing this for 30 years now. And it's about time to pass the baton. Amen, somebody. You see what I did, I sang the easy part and I gave him that tag. See, a few years ago, this would have been my last song. My Amen. Well, I just have two songs I want to share with you. This next song is a very special song to me because my early devotions is right around 5 o'clock a.m. And I don't need an alarm clock because it's been so repetitious until it's like my body just knows it's time to get up to, ex to experience the audience of one with just you and God. I've written hundreds of songs, but there are songs that I've written that the world has not heard because they're just between me and God. It's the gift that I give back to him for all the gifts he's given to me. And sometimes in my devotion, I'm sitting at the baby grand piano in the family room and 
looking out over the window across the golf course, watching the sun come over the horizon. And, 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 and I, I, I play for him, I sing to him, I, I pray, I play, I pray. I'm like the little drummer boy who says, can I play my drums for him? And so sometimes I'll just play my piano. And as I'm led by the Holy Spirit, I'll sing to God. But every once in a while, he sings back to me. Oh, y'all didn't know that God sings? Oh, yes, he does. That's what he said to Zephaniah. He says, because they've obeyed my word, God says, I'll sing to them. My God. And so early one morning while I was in devotion, God began to sing to me. And he says, Norman, he says, I want to teach you a song to give to my people. Through this pandemic and all the things we've experienced, I don't know about you, but I've lost, I've lost 11 friends, pastors and bishops, in one month. Many families have been affected, husbands and wives, sons and daughters, nephews, aunts, cousins, nieces and nephews, and not to mention the loss of jobs and, and just suffering so many different ways. And it rains on the just as well as the unjust. Yeah. Just because you're a Christian, it doesn't mean you're exempt from trouble, trial, and adversity. But I teach people, yes, it rains on the just as well as the unjust, but for the just, it is a different kind of rain. Because you may go in a storm, but if you trust God, you're coming out of it. And so the Lord says, I want to give you this song to tell my people that no matter what they're facing, number one, he says, tell them to put it in his hands. Number two, he says, tell them that he's going to work it out. The song had a question, and the question of the song is, when will he do it? And the answer is, just in time. Come on, clap your hands and praise him. Let's 
gonna do it just in time. of diabetes. I preached every Sunday and I told the saints, hang around, I'll see you again. And in the sixth month, I preached a sermon. This is not how my story ends. And God says, I'm going to restore your sight. And by the next Sunday, I was walking down the aisle. He'll work it out. Work it out. In 2010, I was preaching at a mega church and I fainted and didn't realize I had a heart attack. But I'm standing here tonight because he'll work it out. Work it out. In 2014, I had kidney failure and I was on dialysis Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Amen. But three months in, I found out that my wife was a perfect match. One in 2.5 million. He'll work it out. After the surgery, after the surgery, I got sick. They put me on the ventilator because there was too much fluid in my kidney. My heart couldn't take it and I flatlined. I died, but God brought me back to life because you work it out. Work 
What the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for my good. And the Lord said to me, he says, Norman, I'm going to give you a healing and a miracle. I'm quite natural. I said, God, what's the difference between a healing and a miracle? He says, the healing is when you let doctors do everything they can. And the miracle is when I do what they cannot do. Hallelujah. Even, even before the surgery, Jesus. even before the surgery, I met with the chief surgeon, him and I alone. He said to me, you're going to be one of the worst patients I've ever operated on. He said, I suspect you may even die. Wow. Oh, God. He says, I just got to be honest with you. Yeah. And he walked out of the room. And I says, okay, God, what are we going to do? Do I cancel it? And I thought about it. I said, I don't believe you would allow my wife to be a match, one in 2.5 million, and for me to die. I said, God, but one or two things is going to happen. I'm going to get the surgery. It's going to be a success. Or I'm going to die and go to heaven. I said, now, you don't need me in heaven right now because I'm, I'm more valuable to you on earth than I would be in heaven. And so when he came back in, he says, so what do you think? I said, let's do it. And, 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 and the truth of the matter is he was right. The man was right. The doctor was right. He said, I suspect you're going to die. And he was right. I died. Jesus. But what they didn't know hey. Hey. is that God still work miracles. Somebody say God still work miracles. And I told the Lord, I'll tell it. I'll tell it on the mountain. I'll tell it down in the valley. That God, God, still work miracles. Let me say, before we do this last song, let me say thank you, amen, to my dear friend, amen, Elder, amen, Leonard Thompson. Amen, I know he's off to the side somewhere, but let's praise God for him and for this vision. Amen. And Robert, Earl, where's he at? Amen. Let's praise God for this man of God. And how about this wonderful choir tonight? And how about this band? Lord have mercy. Amen. Well, let me leave you guys with this, and I'm going to get on a plane and go back to Dover. Back to the cold. I said if Jesus, was, if he was on vacation, this is probably where he'd be. Right here in San Diego. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I just want y'all to know one thing before we leave here. 
I don't care what people say to you or about you. Jesus. Listen. God's got a blessing. With your name on it. How many of y'all believe that tonight? I want you to touch two people and tell them God's got a blessing. With your name on it. And tell them, and if you don't believe it, give it to me. I'll take it. Come on, clap your hands. Let's go. 